Hello, my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries and it is my great privilege and pleasure to give you this video on optimization and sensitivity. What is it? If you go to analysis, you can see that there's an optimization and sensitivity menu. Optimization, sensitivity. If you go into optimization, you'll see that what you're able to do is specify an objective like a volume calculation or a minimum distance or something of this nature and then click on the variables and control variables in this little in this little device and what NX will do is it will iterate upon those variables until you get the objective that you want so it's very very powerful now an example this little enclosure has an internal volume and I can show you that I have already created a model of the internal volume of this structure. And if I go to the expressions editor, you could see that I created this variable called inches cubed. I used a measurement expression to do it, inches cubed, and it's showing the current value in inches cubed, 14.52, of this volume. And what I want to do is I want to iterate on the width and the length until I get a value of exactly 18 inches cubed. And I want to iterate on those variables simultaneously until I get exactly what I want. And that's why that kind of a analysis is why this optimization and sensitivity ability exists because if, if I were to do it by hand it would be extremely laborious. It could take literally hours. And now, within the same tool, within NX, I don't have to go to the spreadsheet or anything else. I can simply run the two-dimensional analysis and get a perfect answer. Okay, having expressed it, now let me show you. If I double-click on this sketch, the sketch that I used to create this geometry from scratch, you can see that there's a length and a width. And if I try to change the length, let's say I give it a value of 70, and I say finish the sketch, you can see that the model changes and the uh, internal, that little model of the internal volume changes. And if I go to the expressions editor, you can see that the volume inches cubed in inches cubed is 9.93. And, of course, what I'm looking for is 18. So I have to go larger than 100 for that, for that va variable that I was editing. For example, 150. I'm sure that if I go to 150, the model changes in such a way that my internal volume is larger than 18. So if I go to Tools Expressions, I can see it's actually 22 now. So I know that somewhere between uh, 70 and 150, my target value of 18 inches cubed is will exist. Somewhere with a width between 40 and 60, that will happen. Actually, there's many pairs of variables that will make 18 work, but the optimization code is going to give me the ideal pair. So, in order to proceed, Here's what we do. We go to the analysis tool. We click, click on optimization and sensitivity. We're going to do optimization. And we have to give this name a, uh, we have to give this study a name like volume. Volume. And enter that. And now it enables us. The objective is a target value and we can figure out what the target value is going to be. Um, we'll be typing in the numerical value of 18 but we have to specify the expression that represents that target value. So I click on that little message right there and right here in the expressions uh, in part menu is the inches cubed and say OK. So the objective is when the variable inches cubed is going to hit the target value. If I stretch this out, you can see this is the target value. And I could double click on that 
and type in 18. So that's the target value that we're looking for. The way we're going to get there is by editing or iterating upon two variables. One, one is the length and one is the width. So as soon as I get to this portion of the menu, I click on expressions again and I put in length and say OK. And I create another one where I say width. Should be all the way at the bottom. There's that. So as you can see, there's length and width. Now with the length and width there is a low value, a lower value or a lower limit if you will and an upper value. And so what I'm going to put in is my guesses as to the lower and upper values that are going to be appropriate. So for example my lower value I'm going to start this thing searching at 40 and it's going to go all the way up to 60 60 and my length is going to go from 70 to 150 and I know somewhere within those four variables if those four variables are iterated upon we will eventually converge on exactly 18 inches cubed finally I've got to come up with an algorithm type and I'll use a I'll use the Powell since it's the default and my converging speed will be medium this is a measure of how detailed this little analysis is going to be and finally when I'm ready I hit this run button and I sit back and watch it's actually quite fun uh, but I'm a nerd so you know, I get a kick out of this you know here we go I click on run optimization and it's going to start uh, changing this geometry in such a way that it will iterate as you can see it made some very small change there and it's trying different things there's another small change and there's a larger change and in each iteration it's looking at the volume and comparing it to my target value so it's going to continue like this for a time and when it gets really really close it's going to print out this nice chart and as you can see the chart shows you the different tries that it did and it shows you what the results were so as you can see the length that it uh, converged upon was 122.762 it didn't iterate the width I guess that's because it found the solution before it got there and now we can progress and know that the exact length that we want is 122.76 and that's what concludes this uh, volume optimization again my name is Steve Samuel from Design Visionaries thank you for watching this short video and you can find many more on our website nxtutorials.com and also designviz.com. Thank you.